So I used, uh, what is it called? It is um, drawingforall.net to get this outline. And I'm going to be using, uh, they are prism pan paints in terrain. So this is watercolor. I'm going to use a couple of brushes. I've got a Payne's Gray, sorry. <laughs> I've got a Payne's Gray out to uh, do some of the dark for his eyes. And I've got a liquid black just in case I want to make it super, super dark. So if you leave a comment, I've got this running on Jay's Facebook page so that I can see if you say anything and I will try to respond. Otherwise, I'm just going to babble and paint. And um, if this goes well, we might try to do this again. Uh, this is a test run, so if it doesn't go well, please be gentle. Um, <laughs> and if you hear bl things blowing up in the background, the boys are playing video games. So you want to get the image onto your paper any way you can. Um, I usually like to sketch it out on a different piece of paper and then use either a light box, you can use a window, um, or graphite paper to transfer the image to my watercolor paper. Um, so we're not going to do a lot of colors with him. He's green, as we all know. Um, and then he's got a little bit of pink up here in the ears. And we're really going to focus on the eyes and do some gentle details and then uh, maybe use a sea sponge to get some stuff into his coat, too, especially in this section right here where it's all fuzzy. Okay, so that's me babbling. Now I'm just going to start. <laughs> Um, so what I'm using is I'm going to use the vine leaf to start with. I'm going to get my pan wet. And I have my palette here in case I need to mix anything, but I like this color. So I think I'm just going to go with it. Um, and if you want me to shut up, just tell me. <laughs> so, and a uh, paper towel over here. This is my wine. This is my paint water. Hopefully we don't get them mixed up. Okay, so I'm gonna start at this with the tips of the ears right here and just kinda follow along that edge. And just brush it down. I'm just gonna kinda get a wash of this original color first and then add more in. I'm gonna rinse my brush. And then I'm gonna pull and lighten that color a little bit for the ears. I want him to have really light right here through the ear because we're gonna put in some pinks and reds to give him that really cute look. So um, then we're gonna go down here and add some more just to give him some more edgies. All right, there we go, Yoda, baby. Um, so I use watercolors, so I'm gonna tend to paint fairly quickly because uh, I like to get it before it dries. This is probably just gonna be a first layer and I'll come back and darken it up in a little bit. Now he has a really rounded face, so I want it to be darker on the sides and darker on the bottom. So I'm gonna put a little bit more down here and then I'm gonna just really blend that out up to the eye. There we go. And try to not get anything in your eyes right now. Um, I know it sounds weird, but I will probably do the eyes last. Um, I probably should do them first, uh, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so uh, the top of his head is going to be a little darker than the rest of him. And maybe we need a little more paint. There we go. There we go. We, I like that a little bit darker. Um, we'll get the wrinkles in in a little bit, but we're still doing a basic wash right now. So, just painting away. And 
And I'm just getting my brush wet and using my paper towel and really just blending this down. You can always make it darker, but it's hard to make it lighter. So I really think I wanna keep him a little bit light through here. Um, I'm using a round six in case you wanna find some watercolor brushes and paint along. So we're just gonna fill in this whole section, avoiding the eyes, making it a little darker as we go. And so far I've used just one color. Um, that's all I'm using. So uh, it's just kind of how it goes. Use the one color and then I'll probably add some more and put some variation just so he looks a little different. But I'm getting all this color variation just by using more water or less water. So if you see, I keep focusing on this cheek over here because I really want it to be rounded. Um, and the lines of your sketch, they're just an outline. Um, you don't have to, we're not coloring. This isn't a coloring book. So if you go outside your lines, who cares? It's no big deal. So there we go. I think we're doing pretty good on that. I'm gonna turn my paper because I tend to do that. And if you're watching, say hi. Um, and remember that the, my phone is up one place and I'm watching this on Jay's Facebook feed. So if I look a little silly, I apologize for that. Um, so we're gonna do the other ear the way we did the first one. We're just gonna add some color in there. It's a little darker, that's okay. Not everything is perfect all the way across. Then you can just blend that down. Again, you want it to be pretty light on this inner part of the ear. And we're just gonna paint. I'm getting a little bit more dark color for down here on the bottom of the ear just so it looks a little different from the inside. And again, I turned my page so this would be easier for me to do and for you to see. Cool. Uh, yeah, I can hear you, okay. And I wanna get this all filled in here. I am gonna put like a little bit of a pink in there because he has those super cute pink ears. All right. And we're getting some blooms over here. It's totally fine. It's kind of what I like about watercolor. It just gives us a little uh, dimension, some texture, it just makes it kind of fun. Um, by the way, I've never painted this before, so I really have no idea how it's gonna turn out. I have an idea in my head what I wanna do, and who knows <laughs> if it's gonna work or not. So uh, we're just gonna finish getting this wash over his face. Really cheeky and I'm up. I want him to be pretty cheeky. I have the mouth there. We're gonna add details later, I think. Again, I'm not sure. Uh, but I wanna get this taken care of. All right. Now, remember if you're ever painting watercolors and it looks funny to you, um, remember that nobody is as close to your painting as you are when you're painting it. So just take a step back, breathe, relax. Everything's gonna be okay. It's no big deal. So I got some more of the vine leaf, um, which is a nice olive darky green. If you don't have this color, you can probably mix it by a little bit of yellow ochre and 
your uh, greens and that'll give you a little bit more of an olive green. I'm going all the way around this eye this time, kind of give it some dimension. He's got those really expressive eyebrows. And I'm gonna blend that out because it's looking a little dark. There we go. And I wanna keep, he has that super cute chin, so I'm just kind of getting that by doing an arc motion with my hand. And then we'll do the other eyebrow. And I'll probably forget to talk and just start painting and that's totally okay. You guys can just watch. I'm looking to see if anybody says anything and I'll respond. If you have questions, comments, or you don't care, <laughs> it's totally fine. Now I know he looks really, really weird right now. The center of his face is really, really light. <clears throat> um, but I'm, at this point, there's probably too much water in here. So we're gonna probably let this go for a few minutes and let this dry out a little bit before we come back up and do some of the shaping around his face. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose it all because of the water. So the face is wet, but the ears should be fairly dry. I'm gonna give this a little bit more because I want to. Um, that's just what I do. And we'll do this one. He's getting a little weird thing right here. I don't want that to dry like that. So I've decided to come back in and darken that up a little just so he doesn't get a weird splotchy face. Okay, so that's a pretty decent light wash for our baby Yoda's face. Kind of like it, I think it looks good. Um, while I've got the color, let's go ahead and just work on those hands real quick. You know, right now he's like this floating baby Yoda, but that's okay. So let's do this side first. And we just wanna put a little bit of color in there on the edges and rinse your brush. And then you'll lighten it up. You want it dark on the edges and it'll be a little dark underneath the arm. Okay, we're leaving that nail alone for right now. And then I'm just gonna do this other one. It's pretty dark and you just kind of see his fingertips, his nail, and that's from a different angle. So we're gonna leave that one. Come over to the other one. You've got the ball of the finger because he's doing the force choke, or he's getting ready to. He's gonna force choke somebody, and they're gonna be really upset. So then you move this out, just blend it out a little bit. Blend all that out. I know he looks kind of funny. He'll look funny until we do his eyes. Okay, so there's just real quick on the hands. Maybe get that a little darker. You so, have a comment. Jay says I had a comment. I don't see it. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, good to see you. <laughs> I feel like such a dork. Um, so let's do the inside of the ears. And I didn't pick this color earlier, but I think I have, uh, it's Moss Rose. I was looking in the wrong spot for comments. <laughs> I didn't even know Mandy was there. Hi, Mandy. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Rick. <laughs> so I'm gonna use some moss rose, but I'm gonna really, really, really lighten this up. Um, so I'm gonna put a lot of water on this palette as that is a bright, 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 bright color. Lots and lots of water. 
There we go. How's social isolation, Tabby? <laughs> and then we're just gonna put a little bit right here, right next to the face. And that looks really bright. I know it does. It's okay. Rinse off that brush. And then start blending that out. So there he goes. We'll probably do another little bit of that. Just because. <laughs> so there he goes. And before I put too much on and make him, his ears way too pink, we'll move on to the other ear. <laughs> Once again, just a little bit up in the air canal here. And this guy's just a quick one. Okay, I have watered that down too much. I don't think it blended, blended enough, so we're gonna put a little bit more pink in here. There's a little line um, if you did the drawing by all, so you can kind of make it really dark right through that section and then blend it the rest of the way out. Watercolor is your friend, it will blend. There you go. And I'm watching it on the video to see how it looks, see if I'm Messing it up. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to move away from the ears and the face for a few minutes, and we're going to work on his little coat. Uh, so we're going to see what we can do with this. Have some wine. Um, so I have a couple of colors in this terrain that I'm going to use. I'm going to use this, the uh, crab apple and the sassafras. So I'm going to start with some of the crab apple. It's a really, really pale color, but if you've watched, I don't want to say, I was going to say Yoda baby, but it's actually, if you've watched the Mandalorian on Disney plus, um, his coat's a lot lighter than we all think. It's almost like a gray, uh, beigey thing. So I'm getting some of this beigey color to lay down. Um, and so for the sleeves, so they're, they're fuzzy. Like they kind of have the texture of the sea sponge. So I'm just gonna kind of put it in like that with my brush strokes to kind of give it a fuzzy, fuzzy texture. And then I'm gonna do the other side. I'm just kind of dotting it on. So you have like, you don't have a clean edge and you pick up your brush so you have a lot of white space through there. And we're gonna do that on the collar. And if you move it around and get more water and uh, less water, it's going to give you variations of shade and coloring, which is, I think, going to give you a really cool look. Again, I don't know. I haven't painted this before. So this is all new to me. And I'm doing the top part first here, and then I'll move over to the other side. I want this one um, to be the focus since it's more in the front. And if I uh, do the other one, they might blend together. So we wanna make sure we can delineate these through value. And I might come back in and add some more color. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. So then he has this little, I'm deciding, it probably isn't there, but I don't care. Um, at the bottom of his coat is this 
fuzzy part. So he's getting a little fuzzy part on the bottom of his coat. Hi, Robin. <laughs> Oops. So I just totally got pink into my color when I was trying to get it off of the pan paints and I cleaned it off with a brush, used my paper towel because it's my favorite paint and cool. And then I got some more. So you can't stress about little accidents like that. It's really not that big of a deal. So then we're gonna make this fuzzy. Just fuzzing it up. Um, and now I'm gonna get a little bit of the sassafras. And if you have different colors, you want like a yellow ochre. Um, that should probably work. Hi, Kara. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I'm mixing the two colors, the sassafras and this uh, crab apple to give me just a little bit darker. So there's a shadow right here underneath. So this piece is going to be a little darker right there so that it looks different. Um, and I may have to come back and darken that up a little bit more. Make it a little bit more of this and see what we can do over here to make it look like a shadow. There we go. Now that got really, really orange. Um, oh well, uh, I'm gonna try to fix it with some more color. Some more of the lighter crab apple color, just to kind of lighten that orange up, but it gives me some dimension, so I'm gonna not stress about it too much. Uh, it's not like Disney cares. They probably get mad that I'm doing this anyway. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so then we have the rest of his coat and uh, it's really pale, <clears throat> like super, super pale. Um, so I'm gonna get the crab apple and then I'm gonna put so much water in it, you're barely gonna see the color probably. And these little palettes, they're white plastic plates from uh, Kroger. I got a set of 10 of them for a class I was teaching and I just love having them around and I probably don't clean them very often. So <laughs> I have a bunch of them that need clean. I just grab a new one. Okay, so the coat is a smoother, more velvety look. It's gonna have some shading to it too. I think that's a little too dark. So I'm gonna really, really lighten that up so that the fuzz on his coat is the main, the main draw. There's a little here and on the sides. And the coat's starting to get really, really wet. Um, so I'm gonna probably step away from it for a second because I'm gonna possibly overwork it. When it starts to shine, then it means you might have a little bit too much water on it and you're gonna make a mess. <laughs> we don't wanna make a mess. So there we go. We've got coat kind of started. Um, and underneath his hand, there's like a pretty decent shadow. So we want to take a little bit of the darker color and I'm actually I think I'm gonna take some of this purple. Why? Cause I want to. Um, 
I think we need to add some purple into this. Uh, I don't know why. Um, it's a really dark purple, so this will be fun. Um, and put the purple in here, and that is my shadow right there. It's like this little purple inside. It kind of pops with him, and because I like that so much, I'm gonna add some purple right here as a shadow. If you see right here, I got a little over eager and I put it outside the coat. So his swelly part's gonna get a little bigger. Oh well. Um, the fuzzy part's just gonna get a little bigger. Um, it's okay. <coughs> the darkness up a little. And if you are gonna do this, just remember like your brush strokes can give you the okay. texture. Do a little bit more here where it's dry. And I'm just trying to avoid the smooth part of the coat since I already kind of moved, messed that up a little. So we have a little bit of shadow back here too. Um, so we're gonna shadow that up. And right underneath those cute cheeks. All right, so now I'm going to do some of his eye just uh, because the blank, blank staring eyes tend to start creeping me out and I need to do something about it or I feel like I'm messing up the whole painting. So we're going to work on those eyes. I like to do the eyes upside down sometimes. Um, I'm going to use Payne's Gray for this. So... I'm not going as dark. I'm lightening up the paint spray a little bit. And if you did the drawing for all website to get to learn how to do this, um, that Baby Yoda had completely blank um, eyeballs. And while I'm not going for a fully realistic Baby Yoda, um, I think uh, he needs some highlights and kind of a pupil, so I'm still using my six if you were worried that I changed brushes and didn't tell you. So I'm doing the outside. I drew in pupils and I'm leaving that pupil white for now because um, I'm going to actually use a really dark color on that, but I don't want to lose my outline. And then I'm going around and I've, I made these little white squares for highlights. They're not going to stay that white. It's a little too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then we're going to do this other eye. Going around that pupil and leave in the highlight. Okay, now I'm gonna turn him over. Now, remember, um, eyes are round, so his eye is going to need to be darker on the edges and lighter in the middle. We're gonna come back to that right now it's still, again, it's too wet. If we do anything with it now, it's gonna make a huge mess. So now I'm going to switch to my smaller brush and I'm gonna do these fingernails. And I think I'm just gonna do the fingernails in the Payne's Gray. I kinda like 
tying that together. I don't remember what color his fingernails are. There's some health up there on the platform. And when I crochet him, I don't give him fingernails. So I don't know the answer to that question. Um, so he has just this little nail right here where he's about to force choke somebody. And then there's a nail right here. And obviously these hands are a little sad, so we'll come back and work on them in a minute. And over on this side, we just have the back of that one nail, and then the other nail is a little bit bigger. Okay. So, while I'm waiting for the eyes to dry, I'm gonna go back and do some of the face details and kind of perk up our baby Yoda a little bit. So I'm getting more of the vine leaf. Now, um, if you did the outline, there are these little wrinkles. So I'm just gonna do these right here for a second and then show you a little trick. So those are the wrinkles, but if I just draw those in, it looks a little weird. So then we want to kind of blend those out. Sometimes my brush gets too much water on it. I'm gonna blend that out to give the impression that it was there and blend that out. And once again, I move your paintings around. Um, you are not stuck. It's a piece of paper, so you can move it around and do whatever you want with it. That might sometimes make it easier for what you're trying to do. Which right now I'm trying to make it so these, these wrinkles aren't so, so scary looking. And you'll get another wrinkle here. It goes down. And another wrinkle. And then I'm going to switch to my smaller brush. Or I switched to my bigger brush. Sorry. Wrong one. And I'm blending that out. So I think that worked pretty well. Um, so now it's pretty wet right here. So we're going to do these little side wrinkles, um, his little forehead creases. I know those look super dark. It's going to be okay. That's not where my favorite towel is. <laughs> and you want to soften that up because otherwise he looks like he's wearing war paint. And this isn't War Baby Yoda. Now I may have blended that out a little too much, so we'll come back. We want to give him an eyebrow. And then I want to give him these little wrinkles on his nose and then do a little on the outside of the nose and kind of darken up right in here. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Are my hands covering everything? So there's a lot of water there's a couple spots that shouldn't probably have water. So I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to pick up some of that water in a couple of spots to kind of try to tone all that down a little bit. Okay, but now we need to 
blend this part out because it's way too harsh, these little lines around his nose. I'm doing it in a circular fashion so that um, you can see his nose, but it doesn't seem like it's like screaming, this is my nose. That is the technical term. Um, then I'm gonna do the same thing on those eyebrows. Toning them down. We're bringing them down towards the eye instead of up. So we have a little more definition right around his eye. I know, his eye still looks funny. Don't worry about it. We'll get there. So now we're dry up here in the eyebrows, um, or up in the forehead wrinkles, is what we'll call them. So we're gonna go and wrinkle up his forehead some more. And if you do your brush strokes, in kind of a circle, you'll get that circular effect of where what we're doing there. And then I'm gonna make this darker again and maybe not mess with the ones on the sides. Maybe I'm just gonna use this as my guideline to give his face a little bit of shape. Yeah. Okay, so we still have some work to do on the mouth um, and we have some more work to do on the hands and then we can finish the eyes. So his lip, the bottom lip is kind of protruding. Let me have some little wrinkles. We're just gonna leave those just like that. I know it looks weird, but just leave it for a second. <clears throat> We're gonna go back over and work on this hand real quick um, because we had this thumb and way too much water. There we go. We're rounding out that thumb and rounding out his little force choking hands so they can do their job and save Mando. Now this little section um, underneath his hand got really pink, um, it happens. So I'm just gonna put some of this Payne's Gray in there. Uh, you'll find I like to use Payne's Gray as my shadow color a lot. And then just take that all the way up and then kind of have a nice little shadow there. So what I'm actually gonna do is get a really light little bit of Payne's Gray and kind of put in some of these shadows on his coat. Like I said, I think his coat's a little grayish anyway, so it won't matter. Just don't go too heavy handed. But we wanna give him some depth, so we wanna give him some shadows. And I dripped some more. So I'm gonna do the outside edges of his coat. I'm gonna rinse it. And it turn, and I'm gonna pull that this way using almost like a circular motion, an arcing motion to make it pull in so it's just a little shadow. And we're gonna do the other side. Looks way darker on this side, that's okay. Um, happens. Blending that out, just to make him look like he's our little fuzzy 
roundy friend that we like to, that we all want to snuggle because I really think um, everybody just wants to snuggle a baby Yoda right now. That would probably make the world a happier place. So he also has this little, it looks like a little bit of shadow up underneath his collar. Again, don't go too crazy. It's just a little shadow. All the other lighting colors are still there. So we're just using this as an extra layer to darken him up a little bit. Um, he's a, hi Bobby. Um, he is a watercolor is transparent. I got totally distracted from what I was talking about. Um, watercolor is transparent. So after I put that on, it really lightened everything up. Um, and then you have the shadow, but you don't lose all the fun textures and stuff that we did before. Now his mouth is looking jacked up. So we had to go back in and um, really start lightening that and blending it. But I didn't want to lose it all. So that's why we put it there and let it sit for a minute. Um, and I'm going to do this. And we might come back in with just some black and just do a few little detail lines. But up into his nose. He looks like he has a stash now. There we go. So now, um, because this is going to take a while to dry, and yeah. we want to make sure that hey, what's up? black doesn't go everywhere, we're going to get some, um, it's Dr. P.H. Martin's liquid black. Oh. Yeah, no kidding. I am uh, just coming in and doing those pupils. Oh, that's good. Because they are what I want to have really, really, really dark. I know, it looks a little weird. I promise it's not gonna look this weird forever, but mm. it does look a little weird right now. Yeah, no kidding. Uh. Okay, so now he has like creepy, right. that are not any different. creepy, creepy, beady eyes, which are kind of funny to me. Um, if you want your Yoda to have creepy, creepy, beady eyes, leave it just like that. But I highly recommend you wait. Um, we're going to switch to the little brush. And just a teeny tiny, like, wipe the brush off a couple of times. Get a little bit more, wipe it off. Then if yours does what mine does, where it gets this little bead of water right here, get rid of that before we do this detail work. Oh, yeah. And we just want to do the nostrils. But they're really light. And they're really faint. We don't want to give him like a ganked up nose. So you give him his nostrils <clears throat> and then he needs his mouth. Yeah, extra stress. But there's too much water on my brush. So uh, now we're gonna do that mouth. Oh, still too much water on the brush. That's why I keep a paper towel around. Um, not sure oh, yeah, no. why that's going like that. that. Taking excess off over here on the side of my palette. And I'm going to try this one more time. If it's oh, still no too wet, no I will move on to something else. There we go. Just really light little line for his mouth. Um, no, not yet. So, but... <laughs> And oh, then yeah, I'm actually going to take this black and I'm going to outline his eyes so that he, um, it'll almost be like an eyeliner, I guess, but we're going to do really light extra water off. Um, or I'll just, I'll have Tommy run it out because he's had the least exposure probably of anybody in our house. Because of course Eva works with the public and I work, you know, I go out to work and when he goes out among the public and Tommy's just... He's been home the whole time, so he's super stir crazy, but that also means he's super not exposed. So I just, just outlined it those. I'll holler at him and then just have him run it out. Not because I don't want to see it, but more because I don't want to get you sick, just in case I'm carrying it and don't know it. Yeah. 
<laughs> and we outline the other eye. Nope, and that'll work. Mm. Okay, so um, while we give all of that a second to dry, baby yo, this got fuzzy head. So we're gonna try to give him hair. <laughs> so Walmart. I said Walmart. I was there earlier. They had. And I'm gonna grab my sea sponge. Drip water everywhere. Um, and I'm dipping that into my green. So and I'm gonna tap it on my towel just a little bit to see how it's working. Okay. And I'm gonna turn him over, and I'm literally just here on the edges, gonna tap out. Yeah. Some hair texture, but it's all gone. So I could leave that down some like Lysol wipes. So that's giving him a really faint little fuzzy halo, which I kind of like. Maybe you don't. Don't do it. Um, if you ever decide to paint this, um, that hand is dry again. So we're gonna come back in and really kind of try to focus on the delineating how that he yeah. has. So I know Wendy says she knows how to as well make the or and say hand sanitizer if we need to, but work's got plenty of it, so I've been doing that at work often. And well, right. we're just darkening up some parts of his hand so that it looks like a hand. Um, he was not yeah. looking right. And hands are probably my worst thing. So often if I paint something, I'll tell you not to look at the hands because they uh, look yeah, weird. You might have to. It's a sad part. Okay. So I lost the eyebrows again. Put those back in. Going really kind of yeah, heavy this time. The shower, that's what I call it. <laughs> And All right, cool. I'll talk to you later, Christy. Careful. There we go. Come back. We lost a little bit of his cheekiness, too, so let's add that back in. There we go. Sorry, Tommy, I had a phone call. And then blend it out. <laughs> We're starting to get to the point where I'm about to start overworking it, so I'm going to have to finish up these eyes and be done because if I do too much more he's going to look like junk. There we go. That looks a little better. And then we have some definition here between the nose and the eyes. And let's kind of blend that out on the other side. He's almost done. <clears throat> We're gonna darken those eyes up a little bit and that highlight is just way too glaring. So. <clears throat> He's not perfect, but he'll do. Um. I think he needs brown. So I'm going to take a couple of colors that I have and I'm just gonna make a brown. Um, I'm mixing like an orange with the green. That's almost a brown. That's a little too olivey. So when it goes that color, I'm gonna grab some purple. That's almost there. Um, let's 
do a touch of blue in that. Okay, so I like this brown that I just kind of made up, but I'm gonna add a tiny touch of the black to it to just really darken it, but it's a little lighter than just straight black. There we go, I like that. So I think this baby yoda has got way too much white showing in his eyes. We're gonna take some of this fill out out here and there we go that helps a lot and then we're gonna make his eyes darker but I wanted that first Now this white glare is, oh my God, so white. So I'm gonna actually just take a dry, a damp brush and pull some of that Payne's Gray over to make that uh, reflection not quite so bright. There we go. All right, so his pupils are almost dry. Um, and they look a little strange. Believe me, I see it too. It's totally okay, that bled. Um, so what we're gonna do is get some more Payne's Gray. And he has like these really shiny, pretty eyes, um, but that takes so many layers. So we're doing this a little quicker and easier. So we want to do the bottom half of the eye darken it. You still want to avoid your reflection and your edges but you really want this eye to be darker on the bottom and then we're going to kind of blend this darker color up to the top but it's going to give us some rounding to give him some dimension to his eyes. And I actually got into the pupil a little here because I wanted that to kind of um, blend. Um, it looks like somebody punched him in the face, so we're gonna blot that a little. And now it looks weird. It's okay. And I think that looks better um, in the image. So let's do the other eye. <clears throat> Doing the Payne's gray again. And it's still wet, so it's gonna look a little goofy. It's all right. Um, and this side, the pupil was actually really dry, so that's helpful. Actually going right over top of it. Kind of going halfway leaving my highlight and I'm going to go up to the top get a little more paint hi Eva you're supposed to be working <laughs> okay now I know that looks strange I'm aware he looks weird it's okay and then we're going to blend Blend it, blend it, blend it. Too much water. Mm. Now I have to put more paint on because I had too much water. And we're just about done with these eyes. Um, I think what I'm going to do is probably stop this and 
let it sit and when it's dry maybe come back and touch them up a little bit more but real simple baby yoda doesn't take a whole lot of time easy to do not a whole lot of colors um fixing that don't like it um he's not perfect i tend to paint better when i'm actually not talking so i do apologize for that uh this is usually where i call jay and jay yeah come tell me if this looks good it looks great well what are you looking at it on your phone yeah oh okay like how can you even tell <laughs> you sure he looks okay is he too light <laughs> this is what he does when he doesn't want to talk to me from um, the other room. He just messages me on Facebook. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off as soon as I figure out how to do that. Maybe you'll do more later. Maybe I'll do more later. If anybody's interested, I have some Star Wars ones uh, planned that I think could be a lot of fun. Um, that might be easy. If anybody's interested, I can get a supply list together and we can paint during the quarantine. So quarantine painting with Wendy. That sounds fun. Um, and then when you finish, you always want to sign it. I use a marker because I can't paint with my uh, paintbrush. So, and I sign in the picture because I like to make sure that my signature is there. So there's my signature on the side of your little baby Yoda. And I'm gonna turn this off. So I'm gonna to have to climb up on a chair. <laughs>